Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and a very warm welcome. Jaguar Land Rover is a company that has been on an incredible and exciting journey. In the last five years, under the stewardship of our CEO, Dr. Ralph Spaet, we have reinvigorated our business and made our two iconic brands great again. Our all new innovation lab also takes center stage. This distinctive area is dedicated to a series of immersive and interactive displays that showcase our latest pioneering technologies. Ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to Czech Oil and Rover. Our two iconic British brands excite the senses and help our customers make more of the world. We are a high-tech global company that is totally customer-focused, delivering cars powered by intelligent technology and so enriching the driving experience of our customers. Ladies and gentlemen, Land Rover is a world-renowned SUV brand that's grown and developed over nearly seven decades. Today, we have a lineup of Range Rovers, Discoveries and Defenders, which we will continue to evolve and grow. This year, we are celebrating 45 years of Range Rover. That's 45 years since we defined the luxury SUV segment, 45 years of clear lineage, and 21 years of the very pinnacle of luxury with the autobiography. The thrilling Range Rover Sport SVR, flanked by two of our toughest defenders, plays a starring role in the forthcoming James Bond thriller, Spectre, later this year. Tomorrow, two of our Land Rovers from the film will be on display here in Frankfurt. Good morning. Well, this is a great time to be at Jaguar. You know, we have momentum, thanks to investment, and more importantly, thanks to belief. You know, 15 years ago, I set out with a vision to create a range of world-class sports cars and saloons that would be modern, progressive, and relevant. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the cars here today are evidence that we have succeeded. Now, I must confess, one thing I had not envisaged was designing a Jaguar SUV. But this fast-changing world, the time was right for Jaguar to think differently. And we relish thinking differently. So in our 80th year, let's take a look at the very radical new Jaguar, showing its agility and its strength in a very unique way. You know, the F-Pace is not a Jaguar you want, just a Jaguar you want, it's a Jaguar you actually need. This is a Jaguar sports car DNA combined with dramatic style and space. Its spacious interior is designed to accommodate five adults, and there are 650 litres of luggage space as well. State-of-the-art chassis technologies make it a brilliant to drive as well in all weathers. It is an ultimate practical family sports car. A new family Jaguar to join the new Jaguar family.
Frankfurt is a very special event for us. And Czech Land Rover, we are unveiling two very, very uh, powerful cars. First of all, and behind me, you see the Czech F Pace. And on the other side, you see the Range Rover SVR autobiography. Two cars which really will make the uh, absolute show stars of the ERR. The F-Base is not an SUV, because we have the SUV segment really covered with our Land Rover products. But the F-Base is a powerful, very, very drivable crossover, sporty, with the complete DNA of Jaguar. And therefore, it's a totally different car, with a totally different characteristics, with totally different attributes, and therefore, at the end of the day, there's no overlap. The Innovation Lab is first time uh, on the show and we uh, show there, first of all, the new In Control Touch Pro, which is an unbelievable, powerful new infotainment system with twice the uh, uh, firing power of a Dribble 7 Dreamliner. Then we have got the new family of Ingenium engines here, which you can see displayed. And so you, we show more or less the main elements and quite clear aluminium the new lightweight technology we are using also in the F-Base. We feel obliged to do the very best for the environment. That's the reason why we have an end-to-end -end process thinking. That means we have to think about not only to use materials, but also to recycle them. That means we have also to think about the customer so that the customer gets a low cost of ownership. And that means we have to bring in material like aluminium which make our vehicles cleaner, greener and safer. Well, I think the, the Discovery Sport is, remember, it's the first of a new generation of Discoveries. We have to remember that Land Rover is a master brand and within that master brand there are three families. Range Rovers, Discoveries and Defenders. And that's a whole new generation of vehicles. We started with Range Rover, a lot of the success we've had of late has been due to those Range Rovers. The, Ra the Discovery Sport is the first of a new generation of Discoveries and the reaction to it has been very favourable. Uh, we've sold over 30,000 in 80 different countries, so the, the demand for it is very strong. Range Rover has evolved o over time. Um, it's become yeah, it's been sitting there, at the, it's, it's arrived, if you like, at iconic status. It's driven by members of the Royal Family, World Achievers. Um, in fact, we did a state vehicle, a new state review vehicle for the Queen based on the Range Rover uh, that she, she was driven in for the first time this year. So it's, it's a brand that almost, having said that it's driven by, by royalty, has almost got a classless appeal to people. It's, it's iconic. It's arrived at iconic status over the years, and that's what we're celebrating. Well, autobiography sits right at the top, and I think it's the, the personification itself of that luxury execution. It, it's, it's the best of the best. It's very British. Um, it's very exclusive. It looks very expensive, because it is. From an exterior point of view, I think the fact that it has this uh, duotone paint with a darker finish at the top is very classical, uh, very distinctive. Nobody else could really do it quite like that. Because of Range Rover's DNA, those very horizontal lines, it allows you to do that type of treatment. So last night we had the dynamic reveal of the all new F-Pace here at Frankfurt. Uh, we had a Guinness World Record where we managed to get the highest loop-the-loop -loop with the production vehicle in the world. The F-Pace internally this is the ultimate practical sports car. It's a new segment for us, combining design, performance and practicality. Well, of course, as uh, at the architecture that I'm leading, I always knew that I wanted to do one of these. We always planned one. But I think people's perception of whether we would do one, this may be a surprise, but for us, we're entirely confident. 
F-Pace balances the blend of sportiness, agility and ride refinement as well as being practical by utilising all of the great technologies developed through the new advanced aluminium architecture that we've previewed and actually launched on XC and XF. We've applied that to F-Pace to get an incredible blend of responsiveness, ride refinement and the space in there to drive a boot that's class leading at 650 litres. Well we're here at the Frankfurt Motor Show, one of the biggest shows in the world, to uh, show our whole product range but really focus on the launch of the F-Pace which is a significant uh, step in the evolution of Jaguar's product range. Already this year we've launched the XE and the XF and now launching this new sports crossover car takes us into a brand new segment so a really important next stage in the development of Jaguar. Well, the Frankfurt Show is the heart of the European market. Jaguar is a global brand and Europe is one of the most important markets for us. Our sales have increased uh, nearly 20% year on year. Uh, it's a very important market, very sophisticated market. So it's really important we show our product range, both Land Rover and Jaguar, with confidence. The F-Pace will be manufactured at our Solihull plant uh, in the UK. Uh, we've announced a £120 million investment to further upgrade our facilities. So it's a significant further investment into our solid hull plant in the UK and demonstrates our commitment to the UK.